So Shigaki oh, Sensei, yes. Oh, yes. thank you for sitting yeah. with me yeah. and we tie flies mm. together today. Uh, so Dr. Shigaki has taught me a lot about Tenkara fishing, including Tenkara fly tying. Yes. And the, his philosophy is very interesting. Just tie the simplest mm. fly that you can. Yes. Very simple fly. Yes. Because a very simple fly also catches fish. Yes. yes. So can you show me mm. your simple fly? Can okay, you show us okay, how to okay, tie okay. My tying is uh, very, very simple. Yes. Good, good, good. Uh, from I, this is uh, in head of insect. Mm. Yes. This is sewing thread, very heavy mm. thread. Yeah, very, 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 and cross, 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 mm. and one, two, three, four, about three or four times, mm. guru, guru, and, and, and cross, mm. cross, guru, 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 hold, and cut, cut here. Okay, and the just have some hold. Go get to smart. Go get to. I body. Okay. I'm making body. Guru 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 Go, half, hold, mm. and twist, mm. and finish on the body. So, uh, maybe uh, twice, uh, twice, mm. finish. Can oh, you just catch fish. Yes, <laughs> uh, in fifty three. Second. <laughs> very good. So, and Dr. Shigaki, he very, you vary the mm. fly. Sometimes yes. shiro, sometimes yes. white yes. fly, yes. sometimes black fly, mm. because he says he gets bored of mm. tying the same exact fly mm. all the time. <laughs> so, any color, okay. Uh, right. Any color, okay. Because uh, red, okay. Orange, okay. Orange, uh, okay. Violet, okay. So he's not very particular about colors. If you have a violet thread, you can, uh, you can pink still catch okay. fish. You pink, can catch fish. Pink okay. Pink okay. Too. So I'm going to show a different variation of a fly. So there's different, two different types of feathers mm. that we can use. There's something that is like a rooster hackle, which is a very long, elongated feather. <coughs> and a different type of feather is mm. what I call a spade feather. And this is something that comes usually from a pheasant, for example. So as opposed to being the long feather, it's more of this kind of open feather. And there's a different way of tying the fly, depending on the feather mm. you're using. This feather in particular is a Japanese mm. pheasant that yes. Shigaki gave me uh, a while ago. So the process is almost exactly the same. Um, I'm going to wrap some thread on the head of the fly, just build the head of the fly. And I go about a quarter to a third of the way back. And I'll clip the thread right here. Now the main difference, you know, with, uh, with the rooster type of hackle, you get a feather and you tie from the thick part of the feather on, on the hook. With the spade type of feather, 
you hold it on the tip, brush everything back. So you're kind of making this, mm. uh, the feather open up, and then you <coughs> tie it on the tip of the feather. So I'm gonna secure by the tip. And just like he did, I also have the concave side facing up, usually. Now, once I've done that, I like to have the concave side already twisting to go forward because that makes a cup. So you have the sakasa kebari. The sakasa means reverse, kebari means fly. So just with the natural curvature of the feather, you already have the natural, you can see how it's a natural sakasa kebari style. It already kind of faces forward. And typically with these feathers, they tend to be a little bit shorter. So I actually just use the whole feather. You know, it depends on how sparse you want to make it, but I like my flies a little bit fuller. I kind of believe that a fish is going to be able to see it a little bit easier. So I use the whole feather. I wrap it until I get to the stem. And oftentimes I actually do one or two wraps with the stem as well to secure the feather. My thread was already on the back of the, of the fly because I used my thread going back. And uh, secure the stem very well. And I'll cut the ends right here. Mm. Like that. Now I'm going to brush it forward a little bit. The, the angle of the reverse, reversing as of the hackle, doesn't really matter. It's not something you have to be very particular about. You can have a fly that is very open or a fly that is very cut. Mm. So I'm going to make it just about halfway. So just cupped enough that I know it's a, clearly a Sakasa Kebari. And the cool thing about this reverse hackle is that once it touches the water and the water is brushing it back, it's going to open it up so it's going to retain some profile to it. It's never going to brush back completely and disappear. So that's the reverse hackle fly. That's one of the main reasons I like this, that style fly, the Sakasa Kebari as we call it. Um, there's different reasons why the flies might have been developed that way. Some people say it's because it's the easiest fly to tie. Uh, some people say it's because it has motion. When you put it in the water, maybe pulsate the fly, the fly opens and closes. I like it because I know that even if the water is brushing it back, it's not going to be completely disappeared. It's not going to become completely streamlined. So I'll build the body of the same thread, and you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. I'm going to build a little bit of a thicker body because I want to get this fly a little bit deeper. And then I finish it exactly the same way Dr. Shigaki did. So usually what I do actually, I just kind of put my finger here, trap this line on the body, and I do that three or four times. And the cool thing too about finishing the fly on the body of the fly is because you have all the room to work with. A lot of people finish the flies on the head, but there's very little room. And in this case, you just trap it right there and you can do it even a couple more times, make it more durable. And like Dr. Shigaki, I often like to put a drop of super glue because then I can keep using the same fly if I don't lose it all day long and not lose the fly. So that's two variations of fly depending on the type of feather that you're using. Mm -hmm. So okay. either fly is okay. Oh, this is okay. So today maybe we fish together mm. and we both catch mm. fish. The fly mm. is not as important because the technique is the main mm. thing. Yes, yes, I, yes, so too. Yes. So, Let's go fish.